Let's take a look at how to set up the delivery module in Adelo Express. I'm going to run a PowerPoint to show you the steps and then we're going to go over and take a look at the actual software and go through some of the settings there. So just hang on, watch, and, and learn how to do this setup. The first thing we're going to do is go to the store settings, look under the store config, general config, services, and then order type options. So let's take a look there. Go into the settings, store config, general config, and then go to the services tab here. Click on that services tab and you'll start to see all the different order type options here. The dine-in bar takeout, those are already checked as yes. You can then go through and check yes under drive through delivery, and retail. So those are the different uh, delivery types, or I'm sorry, order types that you can have in the system. Just by clicking yes will then open up a bunch of different uh, features and options for you to set up that type of order mode. Something else you can do is you can upload a delivery icon or a order type icon. In this case I just uh, have a little guy riding the scooter delivering the uh, the order. But uh, you can order, you can upload any basic icon you want and that will then go on to the order type. Once you've made those selections just hit save. All right, once you've done that, then we go to the next settings. Go to the store config, order type config, and then delivery tab. So, order type configuration, go to the delivery. These now appear here because you've checked yes for those order types. Go for delivery, POS options, and you can start uh, selecting the actual customization of that feature. Uh, one thing you might consider would be an automatic surcharge. Sometimes you will, uh, the customer would want a surcharge for delivery orders. Prompt guest count, probably not. Uh, discounted order completion, again, probably not, but if that's, a, that's an option that is available. And the same thing for drink order unmet action. This is when you are matching the number of entrees with the number of drinks in the system. That's really usually only for a fine dine situation or maybe a counter service, but certainly not a drive through. So you are a uh, delivery order. So th this is probably not one you're gonna turn on. Delivery options here. Is it a percent charge for a delivery charge or a flat fee? Waive the delivery charge when the total exceeds and then you put in the amount here. So if you have a larger order and you have a, a ceiling to the uh, amount that you're going to use, as far as when an order reaches a certain amount you don't charge for the delivery, you can put that amount here. Enable money drop, you're going to want a yes on there. Driver money drop moves prior tenders to the driver's bank the money drop is going to put it into the driver's bank and then force them to settle that bank before they can go home. So this is a good one here. Uh, driver dispatch excludes employees not clocked in. So uh, if they're not clocked in, you probably don't want them driving or doing a delivery. So I would click that as a yes. Hit save when you're done with this. All right, next up, store config, POS config, and then caller ID. This is where you would actually program in the caller ID for the system. Down at the very bottom, there's a caller ID tab, and you would actually put in the port where the caller ID is located. And that's really all there is to, to installing it or setting it up. It's just making sure you have the right port available. Then you want to create the job title for a driver. So go to staff, 
then job titles and you're going to create a new job title when you do that you will enter in the job name the security level that you want this uh, job title to have is this an hourly if it is then put in the pay rate this is the general pay rate for this job title it can be overridden at the employee level but for now you're going to put in a pay rate for this uh, this job title and does this job receive tips in this case a driver does so you will hit yes on that all right staff employees create the new employee and then show extended settings Hey, employee you're going to create a new employee and when you do you're going to have the let's just pull up one we've already done first name last name what security level this person has and then cloud security level you can make this really uh, minimal access so they don't have any access to the cloud back office but they do have access to the point of sale so they can do their functions of driver dispatch and what have you Passcode, this is the uh, number or the code that is used to log into the system. Our barcode is optional. It's something that you could do if you wanted a barcode security access to the system. We do offer that. Show extended settings is where you would then go in and put in their email. This is kind of important in that when the order is dispatched, we have the ability within the system to email the driver, the addresses, and the orders that are to be delivered. This helps greatly with directions and mapping. The job title for this, and here's where you would override the job title uh, hourly that you put in previously. Does this person get holiday pay? If so, you would then show overtime for holidays. Their UI language. We do have multiple languages within Adelo Express, so you're able to choose the language that is their primary language. When they log in, the software will automatically change to the language that is defaulted here. Is this person a waiter, hostess, driver? We have a yes. Receive tips, yes. Schedule not enforced. This is more like a double negative, so if you're going to enforce the schedule, leave this as a no. Order entry uses the product alternate names. This has to do with the multiple languages. With When you're programming a product, you have a primary and a secondary description. The primary being whatever is the main language for this restaurant. The secondary is an alternate language. So English could be the first and Spanish could be the second. If you click this, then when they see the point of sale, not only are there all the function buttons, into that second language. The products are also in that second language as well. Primary order default type, this will be obviously delivery for a delivery driver. POS accessibilities, uh, you do want them to be able to receive messages from the management, but they don't have to do dine-in, bar, takeout, or drive through but they do need to be able to access the delivery area. Server banking is yes or ca cashier. So whichever one is applicable for this restaurant, generally server banking for a uh, driver. You do have the ability to do little HR functions like uh, driver's license ID, li uh, insurance, and what have you. These are good things to have for the driver. And then date hired, terminated if needed. And then surcharge. This is if you are going to accept credit tips you have the ability to deduct the uh, credit card charges from the bank for those charge tips before they're given to the employee. And that's all there is to setting up the employee. Save when you're done with that. So let's now set up the delivery limitations and the postal codes for delivery orders. All right, so 
back up to the settings area come down to the bottom and you'll see delivery limitations this is now looking up the store address right now it's looking up the default for the actual location of, of the system do you want to enable the limitations and if so what distance in this case I've put a five mile radius and it shows the location and then the five miles within the radius of this location by just changing this you can see how it extends out even further so this is showing the delivery limitations next up will be the postal codes that you deliver to these are the different uh, postal, postal codes that I've entered into the system you can look at the postal code and then determine if that is going to receive a delivery charge for any orders delivered to that location in those zip codes and do you uh, actually spiff the driver a little bit extra for delivering there that is what that's where you set this up here you are able to set up surcharges device configuration and insist in security configs surcharges would be where you have additional charges for setting up uh, or delivery orders you can add those here under create new surcharge under device config you can set up a terminal that is strictly for delivery and that's the only function that that system has you would then click on the iPad number and just set up the functions for that De default new order type would be delivery you would then set up the initial POS screen in this case it would be the recall screen which would have all the open orders on it under security configuration you under staff securities and order type securities you do have the ability here to change some things here most of these are default and will be fine as a default but you do have the ability to uh, access these and change the security to an even higher level And that's really it to setting it up. If you have any questions, please give us a call and we will be glad to address those. For more information about Adello and our products, you can always call us at 800-801-6036 or email us at sales at adello.com. If you have a support question, email support at adello.com or you can check us out at the family of websites that we have, Adello.com, AdelloPay.com, and Adello.Express.